What's up guys? Today we got a pretty special one. We are hanging out with Zane and Joe Moore. These guys have been with me for a few years. Last year Zane caught an incredible fish. Uh, it's been an absolute blast to fish these guys. But today we're going to get out and fish some more pre-spawn walleyes and see if we can put some big ones in the boat. There's been some really big ones caught here lately. So let's see if we can get after it, deal with some rain, deal with some wind, and catch some big walleyes. I'm going to put the trolling motor and just keep us away from him. He's probably looking at you too, but I can just... I would. There you go. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Got him, buddy. There you go. Nice. <laughs> Oh, this, must be this kid is an absolute hammer. <laughs> this kid just wrecks him. Well, you No, I said the biggest fish, not the first fish. This is dude. Remember when I said it? You'll be five bucks. It's going to be a freaking. Put this one on. There we go. How about just a longer pause in the bottom? Yeah. Uh, actually, a pretty decent one. I got, I got it back here. You keep fishing. <laughs> Trying to figure out the color. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Trying to figure out the color, and all we gotta do is just let it sit in the bottom longer. Nice fish there. Pretty funny, just telling Joe to put on a different bait. And, and here, throw this one. It just, my bait sat in the bottom for an extra four seconds, and that's all it took. So maybe it's not so much a color thing, it's presentation. Nice fish. How's that business call going, Joe? Okay. Across the parking lot. Joe's a little busy on the phone, but you kiss him? You wanna kiss him? <laughs> Pot of fish right there. That no Camera conduit? Camera conduit, yeah. I saw the RFI on it. Is that oh. not on our drawing? No. Oh. There we go. Jumper thinks he's a smallmouth. <laughs> like I'm catching a couple. It's cool because you can see him here on the 360. And then the side imaging I got set up right here. But that fish was right below the boat. <clears throat> just a little guy here a little female but there's something i do with my rip and wraps i'm going to show you guys with the hooks and something that you should do with every single one of your rip and wraps and uh, a couple upgrades you can make to help land more of these little nippy biters we'll show you guys that here in a minute let this guy go so the thing i was talking about before is the the number one rip and wrap tip i can give to you guys is when you get these baits standard from the factory the number sevens and number sixes are primarily what we're fishing and depending on the size um so the number six here comes with a number eight treble hook in the back and number six in the front and with the sevens it comes with a number six in the back and a number four on the front so they always put the bigger hook on the belly and personally i like to flip flop those i always want that bigger hook towards the back 90 percent of your fish can rip and wrap come on the back hook 
and I want that wider gap hook here. So it's really easy. You just do it with your fingernail or splitting pliers, swap them out and make sure that your bigger hook is on the back of the bait, regardless if it's a number seven, or number six. Now, if you want to take this to the next level, I like to get the small uh, EMC hybrid trebles, these short shanks. These replacement hooks are absolutely deadly. These things are super sticky. So I'll get them in a number four and I'll get them in a number six. And now depending, the number fours go on the back of the number sevens. The number sixes go on the back of the number sixes, okay? And then I'll still leave the front hook with the bigger one. So here's a number six, okay? I left the standard stock number six in the front and then I swapped out the back one to a number six VMC hybrid treble in the back. So I've got the bigger hook here and then the upgraded hook here. These things are a nice short shank. They've got that little bit of that EWG and then also that little bit of a hooked in point. Um, that's really nice for catching these fish when they're nipping at the back. And it also keeps your hook out of the zebra mussels as well when you're fishing these mussel beds, that your hooks doesn't grab nearly as many zebra mussels with those points that are kind of pointed in so much as the ones that are pointed straight out. So a little tip for you guys, number one tip for ripping wraps, swap your hooks out or replace them with a hybrid treble. This is what it looks like when we're drifting right at these fish since we're drifting sideways but you'll, you'll mark them like this straight in front of you so these two fish here are just over 30 feet away from the side of the boat as we're drifting sideways so you don't have a wide cone angle here and there matt just hooked up and he is right there so that's probably one of those two fish probably the one that was a little bit further that's a really nice one too buddy Got him. Boom. Nice work, dude. That's a nice one. Look at that. That is literally one of the two fish we just marked. Post spawner just got done on the hair. Nice work, buddy. Let's get a picture of that one. I was really just talking about him, yeah. I mean, I still have the screen on pause, so there's the two fish. He probably caught the one that was further out, which is that one. 30 feet's there. That's probably 36 or something. I'm set at 120. Crazy. Going this way, and I see the wave going that way over there. Yeah, I've just switched. Okay. It's supposed to blow east today, blowing straight west right now. Just came back, I missed him. little baby one it's funny how many of those fish actually come back like you'll miss them and as long as you like stick with your cadence or almost like pop it quick twice and then kill it there in the bottom they'll come back and hit it again as long as you don't sting them too bad There you go. Nice. Like that. Okay. I mean, this is salt water. You just have to touch the leader. Yeah, you just It's salt water. Touch the leader, you're good. Came back? Yeah. Yep. I felt a really light, like I didn't even know it was there, and then it was like, huh. Came back. Again. Came back a couple twitches later. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh. Nice fish. Oh, this one's pretty good. Oh my god. Nice one. That is not good. Nice. 
whacked it, it looked like. You yeah. <laughs> defensive hook set. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> There you go, buddy. Oh my God. Is it big? Yeah, not small. Oh, no. <laughs> nice he shot. hit like directly here. Nice. Oh, he's, un he's unhooked. Yay! Nice job, buddy. He doesn't even need to get. I don't even need to unhook it. No. Nope. Let me see him. Lift him up. Lift him up. Is he heavy? Yeah. <laughs> heavy. Nice. Oh, nice. Put him back. Let yeah. him go. Quality release. That's all right. It's freaking partly sunny here and got a two foot chop. We're good. Bitey weather. Very bitey looking weather. Uh, more bitey looking than bitey. Oh, we got one on right now. So. Oh, Matt's hooked up. Zane is, Zane's been kind of quiet today. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, Matt's got one on right now. That actually looks like a pretty decent one. Okay, yeah, I gotta go. Nice fish. Really nice fish. Lift her up. Totally lost in the sun, sorry. Yep, keep her away from the side of the boat. I'm stuck on the mat. <laughs> Big one. Big one. See, it was a little bit of wind. Nice fish, dude. Jesse's freaking chatting my ear off. Yeah, I hear. Are they biting? Yes, they actually yeah, they are. are. <laughs> the big ones are biting, actually. Awesome. That's a little bit of fat one. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Unless you can, you're not going to pull this I have any lighting circuits around to use a temp circuit, so. He's got a wake for it. I know. Nothing's back to a panel. Up to <laughs> Right. Right. Well, order some order some one like Nice pre-spawner. Just a freaking fudge. This fish here is absolutely just ridiculous. If you look at the build on yeah. this thing, yeah. that's an 18 incher. That's just insane. Absolutely insane. Look at that thing. Look at his belly. No, it drives me nuts too. Nice. Oh, he screamed it. Cracked it? Yep, I, I heard it. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a heavy one almost. Oh, that's a nice one. Try and keep them out from under the boat. Yep. There you go. Okay, I'm just gonna start digging. He cracked it though. He's got it in the mouth. Another nice one for Matt. It's hot. Otherwise, the other way to work it is uh, just on the on the water and then one real revolution. Really? So it just scoots. Yep. Yeah. 
Real, real. Set the hook. Got him, buddy? Set the hook. Set the hook. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Zane is hooked up. What do you got? <laughs> no idea. Probably like a wall. Probably a nice wall eye. Nice. It's probably seven because they ain't fighting hard. Ooh. Oh, that's definitely a wall eye. Is it? Big one? Yep, definitely a wall eye. Is it a big one though? Oh, it is kind of a big one. This is classic Zane. Of course it's a big one for Zane. Oh, close. Yep, you're doing good, buddy. Got him. No, not quite, but that's a big one. That's the biggest one of the day though. You owe me five bucks again. Whew. You fought out. Oh my gosh, my all exhausted. Who <laughs> would guess the biggest? I mean, we knew it was coming, right? Well, I had no doubt. She's soft. Holy cow, that's a fat fish. There we go, buddy. That's a fat fish. Let me see him. Hold it out away from Lift him up. Okay. Let's make sure she gets him, Erica. Yep, she'll be good. Yeah. Oh, there there she goes. She goes after my Whoa! Bye. Let's go. All right, guys. Well, that's a wrap on today's video. It was fun hanging out with Zane and the guys. We had a we had a blast. Those guys are always super fun to fish with. Zane is absolutely full of energy, as you guys could tell, and is a blast. It, and he can catch fish. That kid is nine years old and is a freaking hammer. So that was pretty fun hanging out with those guys. But we got rained off here. But yeah, thank you so much for tuning in, and uh, I guess we'll see you on the next one.